You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Inconceivable Mondays. What word are we going to cover today? Well, it's one we say all the time. It's in almost all of our hymnody. It's in the scriptures. It's in the Old Testament. It's in the New Testament. It's everywhere. Christ. What does Jesus Christ mean? I mean, it's not his last name. It's not like Joseph's last name was Christ. Well, hi, my name is Joseph Christ, and this is my well, wife, Mary Christ, and our son, Jesus Christ. That's not how it went. That wasn't his last name. Christ is a title. It means anointed. Jesus is the anointed one. Anointed for what? What's he anointed to do? Well, he's anointed to be the Savior. He is the anointed Savior. When you look at the Old Testament, there's uh, people being anointed all the time. The most prominent ones are the kings. Remember, Samuel anointing Saul. And then when Saul lost favor with God, he was sent to anoint David. And they put oil on the head and show that this is the one. This is the guy. This is God's chosen king. And in the New Testament, God the Father's chosen one, the anointed one, is Jesus. And this public declaration of Jesus being the anointed one is at his baptism. That's not when he becomes the anointed. He's the anointed one from birth. Conception, he's the anointed one. When Mary goes to see Elizabeth, Elizabeth sings because God has come in. The baby leapt in her womb because Christ is here. The anointed one, the Savior is here. You have at his birth the angels singing. And then finally at his baptism, you have the heavens opened, the Holy Spirit descending in the form of a dove, and the Father speaks from heaven and says, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. He is the anointed one. So we say Jesus Christ, sometimes it's better to say Jesus the Christ. Put that the in there because the is specific. It says there is no other Christ. There's no other anointed one to do the work of salvation for us. It's only Jesus. He is the Christ, the anointed one, the one who does all the work that you may have everything that belongs to him that you may be forgiven and have life and salvation because Jesus is the Christ. The Christ who is the Jesus, meaning the deliverer, the savior, the one who rescues you from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. So God bless you all. And I hope this was helpful. The Christ, the anointed one who saves you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.